My name is Lanny Quarles. I live in Dallas, Texas, and I'm an artist and a writer and a visual poet. And I work with digital media mostly, but I also do painting. And probably about 20 years ago, there started being a subculture of poets and visual poets who started being interested in something called asemic writing, which is writing with no meaning, no, you know, directed meaning. And I started getting involved with that community and it takes its influences from all kinds of historical forms of calligraphy, Chinese, ancient Mayan, all kinds of influences just for the shapes of the strokes and the forms and the, you know, all the beauty of it. recent thing I saw, there was a large uh, calligraphy exhibit by a master calligrapher at the Asian Arts Museum in downtown Dallas, and the pieces were enormous, and um, I just couldn't believe the beauty of it, and I was so inspired, probably the week after, I just went and bought, you know, the, the calligrapher's rice paper from Japan, all the inks and stuff, and I said, I'm gonna do this. And of course, it wasn't quite on the scale that they had there, but I'd already been doing asymic writing for a long time in different mediums, with paint, with ink, but marker ink, like, you know, Sharpies and things like that. I Asemic writing probably started becoming more prominent in the 90s, I would say, but there, but it, the people who were involved in it were probably came from another community called the Concrete Poetry Community, which is where people were very interested in the physicality of language, and so that was like a natural transition from working with letters and words as concrete objects into any other kind of strokes that even look like language. And then a lot of people started doing research and people started becoming very interested in an artist called Henri Michaud, who was an artist in the early 20th century through probably up through the 50s or 60s. I don't know exactly when he died, but he was doing a lot of mark making that looked a lot like language and some of it looked a little bit like Chinese writing but not really and that type of writing came from his, his experimentations with hallucinogenic things like that not that that's what this is from but that's that's where Henri Michel was coming from he just felt like that he couldn't say what he needed to say in conventional language, and so he started coming up with languages of his own.
I would encourage you to visit my exhibition at the Mesquite Arts Center from January 11th to March 27th. Wear your mask and be sure to socially distance and stay safe.